G'day guys, how are we going? Well, the good old camping stove. We've pretty much all got one. I'm gonna run through some safety options while you're using your camping stove out there in the bush. In the end of this video, I'm gonna show you three ways how you can turn your camping stove off nice and safely, and one of them in particular, I use all the time. Let's check it out. Right, so here's my gas stove here now, all set, sort of partly set up. Um, and if you're anything a bit like myself, you know, I don't use my gas stove a hell of a lot. You know, I pretty much only use it, you know, during the winter times, um, you know, when you might roll into camp and it might be pouring down rain, you can't get a campfire going. So you still to be able to cook your dinner. So that's when I generally take my gas stove away and total fire band days and, and those sort of things. Um, so the first thing you want to be looking at is have a good look at your hose. Uh, make sure it's in good nick and make sure there's no cracks in the hose. The hose isn't perish, so you're not going to get any leaks when you do turn your, fit all your gas, gas up to your stove there. And at the end of both of these fittings, inside both of these fittings here, there's a rubber O-ring. Now it's really important that you make sure that they are in good condition and they're not you know, cracked or perished or broken or any, anywhere, anything like that. Because if they are and you go and hook your gas stove up, you're just not going to be able to use it. So make sure that they are in really good condition, even change them if you have to. Um, then that way, you know, your stove's going to work when you need to go and cook something out there in the bush. So we'll get this hooked up and then I'll go through the three options that I'm talking about, um, how to turn your gas stove off. And one of them that I use all the time, and this is just how I turn my gas stove off. So we'll get it hooked up. I'll put this down here. And that one just goes in there. And that's a right hand thread on this one. Here for a second, take the cap off. And the hose that goes onto your gas bottle, it's a left hand thread, so it screws anti clockwise to go on. You could have a little spanner too, just to give it a, a final nip up, but like I find just doing it hand tight is generally good enough. Now, with your gas bottle, you don't ever want to leave it sitting up on the table like this, um, especially when you're using your gas stove, because just in case your bottle falls off. So make sure that is always on the ground, like so. And then I generally bring my stove so that the, where the hose comes out of the end of the stove there, have that running off the end of the tap there, and then there's no dramas at all. Right, so now let's go through the three options with turning your gas stove off. Um, and the gas bottle sitting down there on the ground, where as I say, where it needs to be nice and safely, not going to get knocked over. So that's where it wants to be down there. Now, before you turn any of these off, you want to make sure that these are all turned off at the bottle there before you turn it on down there at the gas bottle. Because if you have one of these slightly open, you turn your gas on down there at the bottle and it's going to start pouring out. Gas is going to start pouring out through one of those jets but that's still open. So make sure they're all turned off, which they are. That's the first thing. Next one, come down here, turn the gas bottle all the way on, like so. And then we'll just get the first jet going here. Righto. So that's now going, cooking away, doing your dinner. Then you finish for the night, then you the time you want to head off to bed. So all you do is pretty simple. That's that, no brainer. Just turn it off, flame's gone out. And now you're going to head off to bed. But the only thing I don't like about this option uh, is just turn it off there. Is that the gas in the in the bottle, the tap in the bottle is still open. This line is still still got gas in it, uh, still under pressure. So if that hose perishes in the middle of the night, you know you're in there sleeping away, uh, or one of those O-rings perish in the end of one of those two fittings, well, gas is going to start pouring out at a rapid rate, and that is the last thing you want. It's got danger written all over it. So we'll get into the second option. It's a little bit safer than the first one. Just get that jet going again. Righto, so this is the second option now. Again, I turn it off, can turn it off there, but also reach down and turn it off at the bottle. Now that way is certainly a lot safer than going than just doing that first option. You know, if you head off to bed now, well, there's still gas pressurised in that in that line itself. Um, so again, if if uh, one of those uh, the hose perishes in the middle of the night, or one of those O-rings fail on either one of those two fittings you're still gonna get gas that's gonna come out whatever's still left in that hose. So 
any leaking gas, doesn't matter how much it is, is not a good idea. It's got danger written all over it. So the third option I'm going to show you is the far the safest way. And it's how I do my, how I turn my gas stoves off when I'm going out camping all the time. And I even do this with my gas barbecue at home. Now, old habits die hard. You know, I, I learned this option uh, way back in the scouting days, over 40 odd plus years ago. And I still do it today. So they're all turned off. Back down there at the bottle. Get this going here. Right, oh, flames going, finish cooking. And then this is the third option and how I do it all the time. So I'll leave that flame there going. I reach down here and I turn it off at the bottle first. You might get another one going just to burn the gas out a bit quicker. And then I wait until that gas is all burnt through. Uh, and the reason why I do it that way, like, like even for now, like the way I've got it there, and then as soon as that gas is finished, just turn them off. And then if you go off to bed, there's no, the, no gas left in the stove, there's no gas left in the line here, nothing's under pressure, it's all turned off down there at the tap at the gas bottle, and the gas is nicely safe inside that bottle where it wants to be. But then, you know, if you're packing up, you're just about to head home, you finish using your gas stove, well this is also how you want to do it for that, at least for that last cook off, because um, now I can take these fittings off, off the, either the stove here or off the bottle here, and there's gas not going to pour out. So, you know, if you turn it off there and then, and then turn it off down there, well, and just leave some gas in that line like we did in the second option, when you take those off, you're going to have a bit of gas that's going to spurt out because there's still gas sitting inside that hose. So that's how I like to do it. I turn it off at the bottle first, burn that gas all the way through, then turn these back off so they're ready to go for next time. I can now take these hoses off. There's no danger. And as I do it with my gas barbecue at home, it's just, uh, you know, old habit. So that's my safety options there, guys, for how to use your gas stove safely when you're out there camping out there in the bush. I hope you guys have learned something out of that. Maybe you might uh, adopt one of those ways I've showed you how to go about turning your gas camping stove off. And fair chance, might see you out there someday, I reckon. Very, very. See ya.